Misinformation and lies are what Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez concluded following statements made by Member of Parliament for Princess Town Barry Paderat. The opposition MP in a news conference commented on the Ministry of Public Utilities and the overall water sector in the country. In response via voice note, Minister Gonzalez reiterated that water resources across the region have been negatively affected by lower than usual rainfall, which has impacted water levels. Trinidad and Tobago's overall water production is in deficit of 45 million gallons of water per day. However, he said the Water and Sewage Authority has put systems in place to mitigate the issue to customers, including the establishment of a 24-hour central command center to address production and supply challenges. Increase water trucking capacity with service centralized to the command center with regional trucking schedules established. The redistribution of supply from more resilient areas to adversely affected areas. An increase in the Salcott's capacity to bolster southwest and south central supply zones. An increase in Seven Seas desalination production by an additional 300,000 gallons of water daily. The minister also reminded the public that other programs, some well established over a three year period, have brought better water supplies to several communities, such as the Community Water Improvement Program, the Tobago Water Supply Improvement Program, and the reduction in the backlog of leaks, which he said has gone from in the, th the thousands to 309. They have fooled the country, or rather, attempted to fool the country into believing that the current difficulties that are being experienced by the population and not related to conditions beyond our human control and blatantly plagiarized projects and initiatives that they are fully aware are being executed by the authority to mitigate the challenges being faced by our citizens.